What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Guilds of Ravnica draft. Isn't there a cube tomorrow? I don't know. Hold on, let me check. Let me turn this off. 54 to 46. Top of this guy up. Move this guy over here. I was checking that Tootsie Gate. How are we looking? How are we looking on Tootsie Gate? 54, so 54 to 46. Am I winning? Yes, you're winning. Corset cube tomorrow? That's pretty good. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so, all right, so Corset's smart, so we probably, all right, I feel like my pepper's falling. Yeah, just stream like that. Well, this is awkward. It's like you're the locust god, but with a pepper. <laughs> I don't like you're like the locust god, but with a pepper. Oh my god, I can actually like feel my beard hair coming through the, uh. I can see it. There's little little white bits sticking out. Yeah, there's little speckles. I hear you had a good neck pillow for your flight. Oh, yeah, I got a. I actually got a World of Warcraft horde neck pillow. Uh, my my buddy McGimp McGimp ten fifteen in the chat here. Did you change your name to ten fifteen? Did you always have the ten fifteen in your name? I don't think you did. Did you tell me a story about that? Do I have any wigs? I do not have any wigs. All right, so like I said, I don't think we're going to be doing too many more Guilds of Ravnica drafts just because Cube is coming up. Cube's coming up. I want the world to know. And my friend, my buddy Mike Mc, McGimp over here uh, uh, gifted me a pretty sweet Horde neck pillow, like a flight travel pillow. And uh, I had the option of Horde or Alliance. So like any self-respecting World of Warcraft fan, I went with the Horde. I don't know the difference. Uh, Horde is bad guys. Oh, well, not really bad guys. Horde are the... I, I wouldn't even say bad. Like, that's that's one of the... I think that's one of the things about WoW that I like. That, like, Alliance is supposed to be good and Horde is supposed to be bad. But Alliance is kind of like... They have, like... They're almost like the Azorius sometimes. Like, they're, they're so lawful that it's, like, kind of, like, low-key hatred. Right. And then there's, like, corruption and, like... Right. Like, it's, like... They're like racists, right? Like, I was going to say racist, but yeah. I, I figured I wouldn't go that far. Because they're so bent on the purity and the, the, the goodness of things that, like, they judge others, you know, because of those things. Whereas the Horde's just like, we just want to live our lives. Look you know, that looks real creepy here, right? You know, it's also pretty creepy. I feel like a robot. I feel like, I, like I'm a like I'm a robot. It's also pretty creepy even without the green screen. I'll be honest with you. Like <laughs> just looking at you, pretty creepy. <laughs> so to be clear, let's see what it looks like without the green screen. <laughs> just incredible, just incredible. Oh, we got an Atrata. Atrata. I'll probably take this Atrata here. I don't think there's anything else in this pack that's even close. I like Deadweight and I like Sky Knight. Is she that good? It's a three-five. It's a three-five that can't be blocked, and it kills a creature every single time you you connect with it. But it also goes away every time you connect with it. Right. Well, if I have a Vraska's Contempt and I use it on a creature, that goes away too, right? That's true. But that doesn't deal three damage, and it doesn't but block Vraska's very well. Contempt doesn't have summoning sickness. Huh. Well, that being said, I'm still gonna take it. Oh, we can go Sultai as always and take this Disregard, or we can take this Dead Weight. The decision is yours. If it was my decision, I would just take that weight. You're half a moon. Your mother's half a moon. What? Third pick Murmuring Mystic. There were two other cards better than this. All three uncommons are here. And there's a rare missing. So, like, the rare and one uncommon was better. Or one common was better than Murmuring Mystic. That's pretty crazy. And an artful takedown. Yeah, I'm going to take this. And if, if this or this comes back, I'll be really grateful. I'll take a dowser if it comes back too, but that's pretty insane. <laughs> you see that little cheek showing. There you go. Now you're visible. Well, that's good. We have a good time. I got a disdainful stroke. You got a little cheek showing. 
Yeah, you got a little cheek showing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, a Dark Blade Agent's good. I almost didn't see it. I'll take a Dark Blade Agent. We're just going to be full on Soul Tie. Here, put your pepper hat on, man. Come on, it's Halloween Part 2. Everybody it? knows that. Should we get a little green flap that you can roll down over uh, your face? I, I like the way you ask that as if that's just a thing that's readily sold. You want me to go back to the camera real quick? I just want to know how I look. You look beautiful. You look peppered up. You're like basically a Dr. Pepper. 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 Should we take this Aurelia? No. Hmm. Are you sure? Aurelia's a really good creature. She's a really a hard to cast in our deck. It's not even a really. It's a chance for glory. God, she's so ridiculous. Oh, he doesn't know anything. Definitely don't take that then. It's either Muse Drake or Rhizome Lurcher because I'm so greedy. I'm thinking I'm just gonna take the Muse Drake and we'll stick with. We'll keep the Soul Chai train roll or the not the Soul the opposite of that the uh, the Demir train rolling. But then we My find head's this. too big for this. Unbelievable. I guess I can just balance it. On I kind of like radical ideas with the Murmuring Mystic. Wear the green screen hat backwards. Oh my god. I could see Dowser or Crawl Swarm as well. You look like a you look like a Frenchman. Oh. That's Beautiful. my best French impression. It was not great, but I accept it. Here I'll turn it a little bit. Maybe it'll look more like a pepper. Oh, a spinal centipedio. I think it's probably better than a second muse drake here. So I'll take that guy. I just look like I'm wearing a red football on my head. I don't. I don't know that you're not wearing a red football on your head. I'm just taking most of the the cards that are decent that are in our colors here because we don't really have that many options. I'll take Golgar Guildgate here, just in case. Eh, I was hoping the Dowser would come back. Radical Ideas is good with Murmuring Mystics. It's also good with Leapfrog, so it's not terrible. Unfortunately, it doesn't say Surveil, so you don't get the Dark Blade perk. Mike looks like a now awkward version of the Swedish chef's Hispanic cousin introduced in the 80s. <laughs> Was it introduced in the 80s? Whatever it is I think I see becomes a tootsie Ooh. roll to me. Don't don't be looking at that pumpkin Ooh. cheese. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go to Maggiano's. Right now? Yeah, man, right now. Okay. Oh, that's a nice little pin. Oh, I know this is. Okay. Oh. Little Reinhardt pin? Yeah, it's Reinhardt. Reinhardt! I wish I liked that game more. What are we taking here? Probably Artful Takedown. Oh, Deadly Visit's good, too. I like Deadly Visit more, just because we have a bunch of four drops already. Deadly Visit kills anything. And you're right. Even a boat. Watcher in the Mist is also very good. I'm going to take the Deadly Visit, though. Oh, another Deadweight? 
All right, you got it. It's not a phase, Mom. Where is Drunk Mike? He has to drive later tonight, so he will not be appearing. Drunk Michael has to drive, you see. I am going to take this dead weight because I think it's better than a burglar rat. I wish this guy triggered with non-creature spells. Like, the only thing that includes is artifacts, enchantments, and planeswalkers, right? And, like, I don't think artifacts and planeswalkers are really going to be that big of a difference. Whereas, like, dead weight actually would be nice to trigger off this guy. Your face is asymmetrical? That's because my hair was... I'm sorry I was born so asymmetrical. Words, you wish that guy said non-creature spell? Yes. <clears throat> Gatekeeper Gargoyle, Passwall. I think it's probably just Passwall add up here. Just because we don't have any two drops, and this is a pretty good two drop. What if okay. Murmuring Mystic okay. was any spell? Wow, even creatures? Yeah. Wow. You're a maniac. Would it be too good then? I think so. How much? We don't have Probably any standard play at that point, right? It's probably just child. And I actually, thought my phantasm was just good. You can get situations where Thoughtbound Phantasm is just super strong, and it's probably better than just a random uh, Child of Night. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sweet Child of Night. Sweet Child of Night. Ooh, yeah. I'll get Demir Informant. So I'll take it. A new superhero, the Invisible Neck. Wow. Are you guys referring to my Invisible Neck? Because that's insensitive. How could you be so heartless? <laughs> Did you just take a swig of nothing from that bottle? Yes, and it, it traveled down my Invisible Neck. So weird. I think this is the better card, but I never play Dazzling. Admirable, what's going on, buddy? I'm sad we didn't get to meet up in, in Cali. I just don't think we have the surveil payoff just yet. I think this card is just stronger. I'll take another one of these just in case our pack three ends up going the way of the, the soul tie. It's kind of like you're wearing a hijab of invisibility, but none of the rest of the Yeah, well, I just put my hijab of invisibility on. That's why. What are you doing? You touch them cards? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Shiny. <sighs> Shiny. Birdie. Birdie. Actually, this deck might have enough for Necrotic Wound. Yeah, okay. I feel like the card never works. I feel like you never work. I work every week, boy. Every week you work? Yeah, every week. Wow. Uh, what do you guys think of UMA? I think the price point is pretty absurd. Um, I don't know. I'm torn between, like, if, <clears throat> if you don't like the price of it, you don't have to buy it, and it's probably not for you. Like, that makes sense to me. But I'm also torn between, like... Why is it so expensive? I think it looks pretty cool and all, but I won't be spending extra money on those. I mean, $14 a pack seems pretty gratuitous. Especially when you can open, like, Balefire Dragon in there, and you're like, what the shit? Why do I have this? Oh, I don't get it. How much is it? Thirteen ninety-five a pack. How could you be so heartless? You could get big money dollars in there, though. It's like a lottery, basically. Right, but you, like, there's far more likelihood that you don't get big money dollars in there. 
I don't think the average price of a Mythic is 40 though, right? Like, that seems extremely... I wonder what the odds of making your money back on it if you buy a box. I don't know. It's got to be low, right? Depends on how many... Oh, a little... Pe oh, double Murmuring Mystic? Oh, that's where we want to be. Now I'm wishing I took Dazzling Lights. Now I'm probably definitely playing Selective Snare. Oh, Watcher? Yeah, I'll definitely take a Watcher. The only other card I care about is Burglar Rat, which I still hope I get, but... You know, I'm not gonna... Why doesn't Wizards just sell singles? They can control the price perfectly? Uh, that's probably why they don't sell singles, because... No. 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 I want this second Watcher, but I, I think... It, I mean, it's just... It's just price of fame. Like, it's not even close. Especially with Double Mystic here. Yeah, Unmoored Ego is not really a card I'm really big on in Limited. Uh, I'll take a Trial of Night. We need more two drops. Not a big Leapfrog fan in this deck, but... Uh, you know. But away we go. How could you be so heartless? That's all I want to know. Because I don't have a heart. It's brilliant. I had not considered that. Look at this weird vibe. Look at this weird like mini movement they're doing. It looks like Child of Night has some, some static. It's like a horror card. Like it's an old TV show. I think our deck is actually pretty good right now. I'm going to take out one Dowser and assume we can hit more Dowsers. I'll also take out a Leapfrog and assume that could be replaced with something else. Oh, another Necrotic Wound, huh? Hmm. Because we have two Mystics, I'm pretty sure I'm leaning toward the Necrotic Wound. I guess if we're making tokens on it, you don't always have to kill somebody to get value out of it. Making tokens! Is this my final form? We're getting close, I think. Out of the cards so far in the box, it's only 10 out of 40 were not the price of the booster pack of UMA at their cheapest. So it seems much more value at rare than previous Master sets even. At R? What does R mean? Oh, interesting, interesting. Huh. Well, are there 40... Brett, are there 40 rares or 40 mythics? It can't be 40 mythics, right? That's pretty... Uh, this is definitely not a phase. This is my lifestyle choice now. It just makes me wonder how you could be so heartless. Oh, no, no, all right. This deck looks... Uh... Like that. Nothing. The only problem is that it really makes the face itch. Hmm. Just a necrotic wound dot deck over here. What about it? it? Never happened. What about it? Could play that instead. But it never happened, so I don't know. Wow. This is the high quality content you guys pay for here. It's like your head is the cosmic. The cosmic. <laughs> your head is the cosmic. The cosmic what? Exactly. Just exactly, yeah. Just exactly. This deck looks good. I think. Probably cut in a chronicle. You want me to order some green screen hood face powder? I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna err towards no. Because that sounds ridiculous. What did you say? I said they can cut a necrotic wound. I guess we could cut one necrotic wound. I There's guess three, three is ambitious. It's almost like reprint card is going to cause their price to fall and will the value will decrease unless you're large so it can solve the... Hmm. 
This is not a phase. Are you ready to win? Um, man. I feel like his deck's going to have a problem with aggro, but... What? We got Triple Child of Night. And a Passwall Adept. And a bunch of Muse Drakes and Mer You're wrong. Okay, we'll see. Any modern tonight? Probably not. I'm probably just going to do these. All our mana requirements are pretty simple. I'm not even going to worry about the Guild Gate. 8-9 seems about right. Nailed it. Which part of your head is visible? Is it a face? No. This is my neck. This is my neck. Don't look at my neck. It's very weird. It's all very strange. Sand is beautiful. I'd say it's pretty good. Oh, I'm playing Santa Claus again with the big old underscores. I will keep this hand. Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. I'm really tempted to deadweight that. I think I have to, actually. Because this thing just gets out of hand and I don't feel like wasting a better rule. So, hey, where's your head? <laughs> Oh yeah, this guy into this guy into this guy into this. Make a bird. I can I can put a can you put a bird on it? Oh now we're just playing that instead, I guess. Don't ionize this. Okay, you win. How did I put this on last time when I put it on backwards? You're having a lot of trouble, it seems like. Yeah, I just didn't acknowledge that. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right, hold on. We'll get this. I hope they don't have a second counter spell, because I would cry. Oh, they did not. Oh, I see. Oh, this is going to be good, though. We're going to price of fame that guy. I don't know what this looks like. Can well, your hair is sticking out, so it's like you have no face and you have hair. <laughs> it's really like... weird. Yep, that's me. We have a good time here. Give me that bird. Uh, oh, keep, keep oh. I'll put you in the graveyard, but I'll keep the other one. Did you like it when you could when I didn't have a face and all I was is hair? Yeah, it was pretty good. Did you like my hair life? All right, let's draw something to kill this guy. Deadly visit one time. Actually, how big is that? That's a oh, that's a neg two neg two right there. So we can play this guy. What is it? Neg two one two. Yeah. All right. So tag with these guys. So many birds. So you're probably gonna block here, which is fine. Then you take two. I just ran already singing the child of the night. 
Actually, I guess we just let it happen first, then we deal neg three, which doesn't really make a difference. Uh, sure. Birdie. So many birds. Breach for the sky. Yeah, it feels very, uh, it feels very McCree. Wait, yeah, that's McCree, right? Yeah. You got it right. Well, I wasn't sure if it was high noon or not. It's high noon. It's going to be an island. It's high nooner. Cosmic Raider? What's the Cosmic Raider? Oh, 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 I get it. I get it because of my... Because of my galactic uh, mouth vacuous, and my gal g galactic mouth va vacuous. <laughs> exactly, that's what he said. All right, deadly. We visit. played a one-three flyer. We can't win. Yeah, I don't even know why we're still playing. Actually, basically dead. Well, I'm just going to attack. You're going to eat a bird. Eat a bird. Butterfree. I'm about to bust. Eat a bird. Eat a biscuit. I'm about to bust. Can you guys hear that? I can't hear that for some I reason. I didn't hear that. Weird. What was it? Can you guys hear it? Could you guys hear that I was about to bust? Oh, I'm about to boost. Lucky. Okay, so none of those seem to be audible on my end. Okay. And my dreams, they are as empty. They can hear them. All right, so hold on. Let me go to... Uh... That's weird to me. I don't know what's going on. All right, so I'm going to kill this guy. I'm pretty sure I can just attack here and not... Uh... That'll do. All right. Hey! Buzz, 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 I did, I did, uh, yeah, I figured you'd hear the lucky. Alright, well, that's... Why can't we hear them? Why can't we hear them? Oh, because I have my... I have headphones in. <laughs> uh, I'm about to bust. That's there we go. There we go. I'm about to bust. Actually, maybe I play the selective snare because they have a bunch of birds. So I can just bounce all their birds back. B -b -b -birds. Butterfree. Birds and butterfreeze. Oh, 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 oh. Birds and butterfreeze is then my emo band. This hand seems great. Two dead, two child, one idea. Bringing me to the polls? What does that mean? I already went to the polls. And by the polls, I mean I went to my mailbox about a week and a half ago when I cast my ballot from my home. I cast my ballot from my home. It was like a magic spell. I cast. I cast my ballot. I don't like this, so I'm going to kill it. Actually, it's probably just better to play Child of Night. I'll give them one turn of value. Because then we can play Child of Night and Deadweight next turn, which is just so much better. Because if we play Child of Night next turn instead, uh, then we don't really get to... We get to... We get to we waste one mana next turn, and we waste one mana this turn, so we're just wasting two mana. Two whole Child of Night mana.
This is so many children of the night. Wasn't your mother a child of the night? I think so. No, that's a woman of the night. My, my bad. It's because your mother's a prostitute. <laughs> that's because she's a prostitute. Well, all right then. Oh, they missed the land drop. Well, here, right here. They're never going to miss one again after they... Oh, all right. No sabotage. Hmm. Hmm. Do you remember that time that your mother was a prostitute? No. It's every Luckily, day. Luckily, I blocked that out. Well. <laughs> it's a good face. It's a real good face. It might be my favorite. Uh, when it feels kind of player, so target the player controls. But hey, I guess we have to target this guy. Whatever. I mean, it helps us win the game, so. I guess it does. Michael's a child of the corn. Peace out, wall of mist. You think you draw again? Maybe. I will draw a card here, though, just to see what we hit. It'll be a Murmuring Mystic. Okay, Necrotic Wound. That's nothing right now. Do you know why you're a child of... You fall asleep? You're literally just sitting up, falling asleep while we're streaming? A little bit, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Dear Lord, man, <laughs> you just finished off a coffee, dude. It's fun. Well, it, it takes a while for it to kick in. It's you know? six p.m. <laughs> Jesus, unbelievable. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. <laughs> You're like this. I mean, I woke up though. We're good. Well, I don't really want to bounce that guy. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's just amazing, dude. <laughs> you're not like, it's not like you're laying down, man. Wherever I go, I lay down. That doesn't even make any sense. Sure it does. Does it? No. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. How long do you think the coffee's going to take to kick in? I don't know, but I'm about to make another. Oh my god. You might need it. It might be a necessity at, at, at this rate. Hmm. Well. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. You know, some of these children of the night are actually doing a lot. Not right now, currently, but they were doing some some heavy lifting. Now we're just going to pass. Next turn we'll play Mystic into Snare and Necrotic Wound. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Sure. Ooh, a little poisoner. Oh, it's a little poisoner, eh? Swear on me, Mom. No, no one's swearing on your mom. They have four cards in hand. Why do they have so many? It's been a while. Chris, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Anything anything new? Anything new with you? Anything new going on? Anything? Um, pass wall adept. More like pass wall sad adept. Little kid Mike does need a little nap. <clears throat> um, actually, pass wall is pretty good and we can just make these dudes unblockable. They 100% have Counterspell here, right? Hmm. Maybe. They did show us one, but... They're doing something now. Oh, this is just fine. Okay, they don't have a Counterspell. Unless they have a uh, Disdainful Stroke. Which only matters for one card. You only matter for one card? 
Got him. <laughs> I have you know I matter for several cards. False. All the ones that say sleep. Wow, I guess that's a fair point. Is this really a necrotic wound here? Oh, that'd be gas. I'd be interested in your in your process. Mike doesn't nap quickly and efficiently. Mike naps longly. I'm just gonna play both these guys. It's called sleeping. It's called napping longly. How long is it, how long of a nap is is it considered not a nap and sleep? Like, what's the what's the time limit? I think anything over two and a half hours is probably the the nap to sleep time. Sure, you got. How rude! It. That was pretty rude. You ain't kidding. Although I think we could just win with like unblockable times two. We're at thirty four life, so you know. So you know. Oh, so you know thirty thirty two life. You know. Unblocks. Can't be blocked. Don't don't even try to block. If you don't untap, it is a nap. That's actually uh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, everybody knows that. That's uh that's the Johnny Crocker school of naps. If you don't untap, then it's a nap. Usually my naps are between one and two hours. Um, I have a hard time sleeping for just 30, 40 minutes and waking up again. Oh, wow. Deadly visit. Look at you go. I feel like a good nap is like an hour. You would. Anything past that now just makes me more tired. Yeah, but then, you know, I don't think I've ever seen you sleep for just one hour. That's one hour is like the Lay's potato chips of naps for you. You can't have just one. Well, I do it when I'm, 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 I'm making plans for something. No, even then you just fall asleep and then you never wake up. Wow, I never wake up. I yeah, I know you got. I'm not even awake right now. You know. Oh. Can I get so murmuring mystic? Zone, murmuring mystic. Murmuring mystic. I just saw that cat. Where'd he go? Actually, Trot is pretty so good. So sneaky. Here. Oh, there, there he is. is. This is the rhythm of the mic. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> they do say you wake up more refreshed with smaller naps. I have heard that, but I just don't have a way to wake up. Like, my body is like, nah, you're still tired. Keep sleeping. Don't, don't sabotage. All right, they didn't. I tried that out once and did a 45-minute nap. It kind of worked. It did make me less tired. I don't think anything can make you less tired. <laughs> <laughs> Not even God himself could make Mike less tired. What did they target? Oh, the Atrana. Sure. This is, these are all these are all very good uh, very good cards you're playing here. How many graveyard boys do we got? Three? Got three graveyard boys. Well, those graveyard boys are at it again. I'm going to make coffee number two. You want anything from the kitchen? No, man. I'm good. Okay. Preach. I guess we just attack for one here. I don't think they're going to do anything crazy. Oh, they're going to pay some costs here. All right, well. Well, then. Artful takedown. Tap and kill my guy. One, two, three, four. Well, that's fascinating. Mm 
Oh, what up, birds? Well, we kind of need something to punch through here. A second Murmuring Mystic would be great. Oh, and third child of the night, huh? Okay. Sure. Sure. They're at five. Oh my god, stop playing things. Mephitic Vapors. Douser of Light, sure. That's fine. Who even cares about that guy? I mean, they have 12 cards, we have 20, so... Maybe we just race them. No, yeah, that's not what we're looking for here. One, two, three, four. Only four creatures. I'd like to get rid of either this or this. However, if they go to surveil and make this guy bigger, I'll just kill it. Using the Chronic Wound as a combat trip seems pretty terrible. Like, they're automatically going to kill this guy, they're going to kill this guy, and they're going to kill this guy. And they're going to kill this guy. So, like, we get to trick and, and kill one of their guys and keep one Child of Night alive and lose three of our other creatures. Does not seem ideal. This guy, huh? See, now we're going to make it an 05, and all these guys are going to deal their damage. And hopefully, you just didn't draw a counter spell. If you draw a counter spell, that's pretty bad for us, but. Actually, we should have done this in response because now it just kills it straight up, so. Thank you. That's worse. Atomic Frog, thanks so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I also want five trophies MG playing Gogar each time thanks to you. Really awesome. That's good stuff. Wow, they did have a counterspell. A counterspell and a command of the storm. Seems amazing. Congratulations. You are good at this game. I guess we gain all the life at least. Yep, that could not have gone worse. I guess that's fine. <laughs> kill, kill that guy too, I guess. So they have six, six damage on board, huh? Unfortunately, we're not at 60 life, so... I feel like this game went from very, very winnable to I draw my removal... And you don't get to keep any creatures on board. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fascinating. You know what? I'll actually take one of these guys. Little cat muffin. Old Naps, Naps McGee's coming. Graveyard. Top is fine. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. Hello, Elk Tears, my old friend. Have you come to talk with him again? I've come to stream with you again. Because you never don't draw removal. This is actually unbelievable. <laughs> Crying out loud, man. Looks like we're dying. It sure does look that way, doesn't it? Did I boo at the Diablo panel? No, because that is childish and shows a lack of understanding for how game companies work.
And that one guy who asked mm-hmm. if it was a prank. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. 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 Mm-hmm. Wish I had selective snare back. This is the sound of Michael's. Why don't you check with this guy? I'm just going to block both your ground, guys. Very strange, very strange. Well, there's a start. But the way it is the finish, we have two turns to start drawing some spells. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven, twelve. There are five lands in our deck. Half of our deck is lands. Hmm. I don't understand these attacks really with the with the ground guys, especially when they're at five, and now we just get to potentially f- so five, six, seven. So we can put them to two, which is pretty comical. I don't think we have any way to crack back, though, unfortunately. I mean, we lose two turns to these guys anyway, so. Did Mike B end up picking you up at 1 a.m.? No. I got Felipe to pick me up at 1 a.m. Wow. Third command the storm to go with your three deadly visits. You have six five-mana removal spells. That's absolutely incredible. I guess that's a thing. Yep. Do they have anything that can deal with like infinite rule spells? I don't know. Hoping he doesn't draw them? I guess so. Lotless Giant actually might be a reasonable top end. Just try to burn him out. I'll burn you out, you stupid biscuit. Got him. I'll have you know my biscuits are very intelligent. Very intelligent? Yeah, very intelligent. Very, very intelligent? Yeah, very, 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 very. Dear God, man. It's going to make it worse every time you ask. I don't doubt it. I'm almost positive of it. Actually, Unmoored Ego would be pretty decent. We could just name all their... Yeah, that's actually not terrible. I'm going to submit and go 42 and just risk it for the 42? biscuit. 42? Yeah, it's not, it's not ideal, but... Oh. Mike, are you excited for Christmas? Me. Me. I like being cold. And I like my vacation that's coming up. If you like it being cold, <laughs> I don't know what that matters. You're in Florida, bro. Colder, okay. You know what I mean. Nice 60 degree weather. Yeah, for what, three days? Yeah, but those three days will be glorious. I guess so. <laughs> Excuse me. Man, every time. Oh, I actually did. I did enjoy BlizzCon. Yes, BlizzCon's awesome. Island? Hey, come visit in Seattle. It's 50 and cold F. Oh, I know, boy. I'm pretty sure I'll trade with either of these things. I'm also pretty sure they'll take two and keep this tap down, so. Oh, they didn't even use it. That's great. Fantastic. I'll have five whole days off in a row in December. Oh, because they don't like you? Yeah, it's because they don't like me. That's sad. They're still paying me for it, which is weird because they don't like me, but, you know. Well, they're paying you because they feel bad for you. Oh. Yeah, it's... You're really... You're basically just a charity case for them. Yep, this is going well. All right. So, it turns out the uh, deciding game of the three is... uh, Comes down to mana issues. I know, I know. Nobody saw it coming. It's a surprise to everyone. And, uh... Yeah. I don't. 
They didn't even attack with this guy? Oh, look, another one. That's good. That is nice. I guess we'll just pass here. It's a nice combo here. Land? Hey, look at that. It's a fifth land. It's not the land we need, but... Frank, this is karma for throwing rotten tomatoes at the kindly employees of Diablo Incorporated when you were at Dairy Queen's Blizzard Convention. Oh, my God. So I'm going to play this, and they have six five-mana removal spells. So I think the odds of them just killing it are pretty high. I also don't want either of these. Are you dying? Yes, one one cough equals dying. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta feel terrible when you work months on this mobile game and you're gonna show it off. Right, and, and you're just like, oh, everyone's just sad that Diablo 4 is not being announced. Oh, we're doing so good here. I'm so proud of us. How long was it between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3? Like 10 years? Eight, eight-ish. Oh, I don't know. Between two and three. Yeah, I don't know. Diablo two was two thousand. Diablo three was two thousand twelve. So twelve years. So twelve years, and they already won a four in that short amount. Of time. You got six more years, kids. And surveil. People who, who are like, Diablo 2 is better, I don't understand, like... I like Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. Yeah, I think they're both good. They're different, sure, but, you know, whatever. I have a hard time playing games with outdated graphics, that's just me, though. Alright, well, we don't have a way to deal with that, so they're probably just going to kill us with their 17 removal spells in hand. I don't mind that so much. <laughs> I do mind this, though, this is pretty ridiculous. Hmm. Yep, we're just going to go to the next match. Like, I'm not even going to sit here and play this game out while we have no blue sources and they have Murray Mystic and five cards. And Yep. Closest island? Wow, three cards away. All right, sure. I think D2 is probably better than D3, but the thing is, like, I have a harder time. I can't play D2 now just because it's hard to look at. You know what's weird to me? Nope. Graphics nowadays are so amazing, right? Right. But when 10 years, are we going to look back and be like, oh, they're terrible? I mean, I was I wondered that too. I'm like, maybe? But I don't know how they can get any better, to be I honest. I don't either. They're so close to realism. like. Just like your mother, she's so close to realism. What does that even mean? You know what it means, Michael. I don't. I'm talking about your Mike's realism. I'll keep this. Thank you. Harmon, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. 4K, human eyes can't notice the difference. I actually wonder, like, because if you look at the graphics 10 years ago, 15 years ago, like, it's pretty ridiculous. Dragosi, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome. I'm going to say welcome back because I'm pretty sure this is not the first time you've subbed. Why do I have this? Why did the sounds of silence stuck in my head? Because you made a meme song about it, or somebody did. Your mom did. God, this whole this whole video is about Mike's mom. She's a good lady, <coughs> except for her. Uh, and I remember looking at MGS One yeah. graphics, and I'm like, these are amazing. And now I'm just yes, like, these are horrible. I remember that too, and I'm like, oh god, now it's cringy. I can't even watch it. 
It's it's funny how your standards change, you know. I just missed resub day on the Wow, you don't even care about our resub day. That's unbelievable. You think you know a guy? Doesn't it just auto resub you? Uh depends on how you do it. Hmm. Cause I know mine does. I know mine does. Oh Twitch Prime doesn't. Oh, right, because so. it's like a free thing. So, You're a free thing. Wow. I think in 10 years it will be all about VR and like Westworld-esque experiences in gaming and we'll look back at the techniques and practices of gaming. Not so much the graphics. Also, shame you for making for making no-no in the blizzards at Dairy Queen. <laughs> What's this Dairy, oh Queen, my God. Dairy Queen thing he's talking about? Because that's where blizzards come from, Michael. Oh. Oh. He got it. Oh, this is blowing my mind. Because you didn't know where blizzards came from? If you sub for 56 months, you get a really snazzy two-year subscription badge. Which doesn't really make that much sense, if you know what I mean. I'm like, I'll just play another one. I don't care. I got Mystics for days. Yeah, keep up, Mike B. I'm trying to, but I'm very slow. Also, uh, me undies dot com slash frank lapore sent me a sweet onesie today and i put it on and i was like this is hilarious so they sent uh, you a onesie in your size yeah why aren't you wearing it um i don't know it felt it i don't know it felt we weird. need to post it to the internet frank definitely not people demand it well we'll see but it was very funny i laughed at it and i was like this is amazing so if you guys are interested in that you should is definitely it green go <laughs> uh it's like plaid so it's not it's not green screenable um but you guys can definitely check those out at MeUndies.com slash Frank Yeah, I don't think men are supposed to wear onesies, I'll be honest with you. I agree with you. It felt like it felt like a like a a less cool jumpsuit. You know what I mean? It was still super comfortable though. I want a price of fame something, but what it's do like you, the what adult you, version of Snuggy. You're the adult version of Snuggy. Hmm. Got him. Didn't see that one coming. Yeah, the more you guys ask, the the more weird about about wearing it. I feel so. Uh, you're actually driving me further away from that desire. It's a long sleeve romper. <laughs> That's actually pretty correct. I think. Yeah, rompers for men. I don't think are. They just don't look great. That's all I'm gonna say. What about Michaels for men? Hmm. They don't look great either. Zubity doops and a doop doop doops. One, we need to see the onesie book. Wow, wow. Boom, 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 boom. I'm just gonna kill this guy here. Make a birdums. Oh, get out of here, lands. <coughs> hooga, hooga. That's my impression of Mike. Hooga, hogar. Rich car, hogar. One, two, three. Three baby boys. Good enough. That'll do you. Just a dabble, do you. All right, let's get in there with all these gentlemen and ladies. These, uh... <laughs> yeah, I got you guys. I got you. I got, got all your onesie hopes up, and then I dashed them just as quickly. God, he always teases us with a romper, with the onesie. My onesie has a first name. It's O N E S I. Onesie has a second name. It's well, that was sad. I guess these birds are going to have to go the distance. They're going for speed. They're all alone, all alone, I alone on the top of me. Oh, look at that kitty cat. Land. There you go. These birds can go the distance. Oh. <sighs> 
Every mile will be worth their while. This is this card is pretty good here. Yeah, it's actually really good. Yeah, that's busted. One, two, three. Two turn clock. You sang the song before I could get any of it. Yeah, that's how I do. That is how we do here on Frank Lepore's Singing Hour. Thank you guys for joining us. Also, I had some pepper questions that came through on YouTube from Michael. So, oh my god. Diablo Queen, $1. I just realized all the lemonade you gave us at Blizzard at Blizzard Convention was actually your yellow no-no juice, and now we are all sick. This is for thanks. This is the thanks we get for spending two years making Snake 2 for your Nokia Engage. Shame on you and your no-no juice. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. You know, sometimes I wonder how you exist. That's a question I ask myself regularly. All right, so hold on. I'm going to look at this pepper question. Um, okay, hold on. Okay, so we had some more pepper talk questions. Uh, Evil Santa asks, uh, Frank, can you please ask Mike what kind of pepper Dr. Pepper would use to replace my bad kidney? It's important. So, uh, Michael, what kind of pepper would Dr. Pepper use to replace his bad kidney? Uh, that would be red jalapeno. Oh, red jalapeno. You several know, of them. Several. Evil Santa, if you're listening, you can replace your kidney with several red jalapenos. And uh, it has been confirmed by a legitimate doctor. So, uh, what problem is? Very good. Thank you. Let's see what else we got here. I don't actually see any more, so I think we're good. Hmm. I think we. This has been Pepper Talk. Tune in next week when we strangle the dangle. Uh, real talk, me, no memes. Did you vote today? No, I did not actually vote today. I voted two weeks ago when I mailed my ballot in. Get wrecked. Boom. Mic drop. I can't drop it. It's on a stand. I also did not vote today because I also mailed in my ballot. Get wrecked. You nerd. I voted before it was cool. I also voted before it was cool because it was the hip thing to do. Are you kidding with the political climate the way it is? If I didn't vote, man, I might as well just move. Move where? To your mother's house. She has a God. spare bedroom. You probably you could probably join in. Oh, I'm about to bust. <laughs> oh, I'm about to bust. Uh, I voted for New York City for the first time today. Had been voting absentee. Oh, really? That's interesting. Man, what does absentee mean? Uh, it means you vote for the elections in your state, um, but you're absent. You're not there. So, like, it's an absentee oh, ballot. So. Gotcha. Hope you got rid of the idiot. I got you and me both. You and me both. We shall see. I'm not going to block this guy. This guy's MVP. Nope. I ain't fighting anybody. You're not fighting anybody, are you? You're a little... It's actually fighting your mom because your mom has flying. <laughs> that seems good, though, right? Not if she's getting fought on. Fought on? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a really weird accent for fart. You got fought on. Fought on. <laughs> hey, I saw you laying in the bed the other day and you got fought on. Oh, See, well, there that, you go. Yeah, you're right. It did, it did smell. That was a hell of a thing. Oh, wow. That was aggressive. It did the smell. I hate getting fought on, mate. Look at that rampaging butthole. You okay? Yeah. Elk Tears always types in caps because it's, it's, it's cruise control for cool. So, you know. That's true. It is cruise do. control for cool. How you do... Oi, how you do? Oi, how you do? Is that what you said? Maybe. Burp, burp. Burp, burp. Burp, 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 burp. This is a good, this is a, this is a meaningful, productive conversation we're having. Get in the zone. 
See you later, Rampaging Monument. I almost feel like they wanted me to do this so that they could play their better creature next turn, which makes me sad, but it is what it is. Hey, man, you ever heard that band Muse Drake? No. Are they any good? No. Okay. I just watched a British action video this morning, and I have to say that Mike Bees was perfect. Wow. How dare you? See, really, I was doing a British accent, but as a guy who also did other accents at the same time. Oh, see, that's where you threw me, I guess. I was not expecting that. Picture pages, picture pages, time to do your... Oh, do you have a pack? Do you... Oh, interesting. That was an interesting block. I guess you just want your rhizome lurcher to be larger. Time to do your crayons and your pencils. Picture pages, picture pages, time to do your picture pages. your crayons and your pencils. Well, I don't want to sing picture pages anymore because of Bill Cosby. That makes me sad, but... What can you do? Um, We don't really have much to do with this hand, so... I guess. Let's make some dudes unblockable. So three, four, five, six, and we'll take five. One, two, three. I learned my British accent from Crocodile Dundee. Wow. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That's the only thing I remember about the entire movie. That's because it's like the most quoted part of that movie. I also remember there's a scene in an airport on an escalator. That's about it. That's a cool story, bro. Thanks, bro. You're welcome, bro. I want to play this Atrata again. That's two Atratas. I'm going to be a trotting right into that, into that red zone. Thank you. Crocodile Dundee is actually a really offensive movie. Frosted Flakes, thanks so much for the res the sub. Welcome, welcome. I really appreciate, really appreciate it. Those all, every one of those words was very difficult to get out. Apparently, is it bad? I miss Frank stream so much that I have Frank on my laptop and Ollie on my Xbox because I couldn't choose. No, there's nothing bad about that at all. You did, you did just great. There's transphobia in the film, along with tons of low-key racism. I mean, yeah, but there was transphobia and low-key racism in everything in the 80s, to be fair. And yeah. I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that excuses it. Um, I'm saying if you start looking at things through that lens, um, you're going to dislike a lot of things in the 80s. Even stuff from the 90s. Yes. And, yeah, I agree. Like uh, Ace Ventura, man. A lot of transphobia in that film. There, Ace, it's like a theme. Of the that entire whole Ace Ventura one is literally the whole storyline is a is, is literally transphobia. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. It's really weird if you go back and look at it. You're like, oh, wow. Einhorn, Finkel, Finkel, Einhorn. Wow, yeah. that's really messed up. Your gun is digging into my hip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know if I laugh at it because of nostalgia, but eh, what are you gonna do? Yeah, Elk Tears, that's the thing, man. Like, it was just... It was it was definitely a different climate back then. Hey, so you got any more of that gum? That's my personal business, Dan. And I'll thank you to stay out of it. What's that from? That's oh, it's that's Ace Ventura. Yeah. Weird guy. You're a weird guy, Al. Weird guy. Al? Ace. Al Ventura? <laughs> that's his, the quote is, you're a weird guy, that's Al. That's strong... Al, I said it again. Ace. <laughs> That's his, uh, that's his low rental, his low budget cousin. Al, Al Ventura. Animal investigator. 
Oh, I see. This is not this is not going well. Wow, we watch it as a joke. I can't imagine watching a movie like Crocodile Dundee on a date with an Australian person and being like, this is going to be a good time. You ready? Uh, well, if you're doing it as like a goof, I think it makes sense. Um, But it's only a goof when you're not like... It's not a goof to the person who is that thing, though, you know? It depends on the person. If they, like, know that going in. I think they would, but still, like, I don't know. Look, buddy. No, that would have been good if I had a land or if they had, you know, legendary creatures, I guess. Mike, honestly, stream, favorite Jim Carrey movie? Favorite Jim Carrey movie? I think it's, honestly, Ace Ventura. It's probably a nostalgia thing, but... Uh, I think I like the second one a little better, too. Like, the plan wasn't to watch the whole movie. They're just like, alright, I don't want to watch this whole movie, but... God, we're stuck here now. Yep, this seems bad. Well... Are you mentoring out to this idiot? That's fascinating. Time to get your crayons and your pencils. No. Get them. No. Get your crayons and get your pencils. <coughs> I also really like, um, what is it? Wedding Crashers? No, that's not, it's not Jim Carrey, man. Uh, Earth Girls. The Truman movies. Show. I really like the Truman Show. Truman Show is, it really is, is not close to my favorite Jim Carrey movie. It's a really good movie. It's a really good just movie in general. It's not a comedy, but it is a good movie. Well, I don't think it said comedy, right? This just said favorite Jim Carrey movie. I also think twenty three isn't as bad as some people say it is. I don't know. I don't know what twenty three is. You never seen twenty three? What is twenty three? Twenty three Jim Carrey. Twenty three Jim Carrey is that thing in the movie? No. Oh, is that like the weird movie? The number twenty three. Like, yeah. Yeah. Eight uh, yeah. percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Woo. You got an eight percent. Dang. Oh, the movie's called The Number 23. My bad. <coughs> it's like a horror movie, kind of. You're like a horror movie. The Number 23 destroyed a lot of careers. <laughs> 8% on Rotten Tomatoes. Oof. You know, in a weird way, that makes sense. Because The Number 23 is supposed to bring, like, bad luck, so... Cable Guy, so let me talk about something that... I've never seen Cable Guy. Let me talk about something that weirds me out a little bit. Cable Guy is also a very, very good uh, Jim Carrey movie. And it's one of the most prominent things for that movie is the fact that Matthew Broderick is in it. I'm a big Matthew Broderick fan. Obviously, I grew up with Ferris Bueller's Day Off and stuff like that. Um, so, like, I look at the Cable Guy, and I see Matthew Broderick, and I'm like, yeah, it looks like Matthew, Matthew Broderick. And, I, and this strikes me. The Cable Guy strikes me as a movie that was relatively recently. So in my head, I just haven't gotten past the part that it wasn't that recently. And, like, I still feel like it's a relatively recent movie. Like, it just feels more modern to me. And then I look at Matthew Broderick now, and it feels like he's, like, 60. He just looks... And then it kind of dawns on me. He's 56. So and yeah, it he just about dawns 60. on me that the cable guy is actually not as recent as I feel like it is. No, it was like 30 years ago. Right. And it just kind of well, distorts not exactly 30 years ago, like but, this you know. whole perception of time I have. It's very weird. Well, yeah, cuz you also see like since they don't do movies recently, you also see them in that light still. Like you see them at, in that movie. Right, that's the last time because right. you don't get to gradually watch them. Like I get to see you every day. So I'm like, man, Mike looks like shit today, and I've just wow. been, you know, I've been watching him <laughs> over the Yeah. It's not a gradual process. It's kind of like a Yeah, sure. Five damage to this guy. Um, it, you just see them all at once. Or, or I, I think it's the opposite of what I said. Um, you don't get to see them gradually, so it's not like this process that's kind of invisible to you over the over the, over time. You just see them all at once, like at cer at different periods of time. So that's kind of hard to notice um, any gradual change. It's just it just sort of looks like a very very drastic change. God, can I mean, that's from that's, 96. That's, that's Ferris Bueller, man. That's insane. 
Cable Guy's 22 years old. It just doesn't seem that old. But it is. But it is. Uh, there's a thread on Reddit like, what are some 90s movies that are classics? And then like a bunch of people in the thread brought up, yeah, the 90s was almost 30 years ago, so they actually are classics now. I met Matthew Roddick last night at this event. Fof's mom invited me to super random, and yeah, he looks way old. Watch my Instagram stuff. That's insane. Can we meet some of those people when I come and uh, we go to the we go to the Cape? Can we can we invite can we can we invite Matthew over for the Cape, and we can have Cape in the Christmas, Christmas in the Cape. God, Matthew Roddick, why are you gonna be looking old? He looks like he's from the seventies in that picture. <laughs> That is correct. It's because of this hair and these these mutton chops. Yeah. The chops really sell that look. If he's still alive, then... <laughs> oh, that's... Well, that's gas. Yo, WB from the BlizzCon Meme Fest. What does that mean? I don't... I know what everything but WB stands for. That's old Grandpa Broderick. It looks like David Cross here. Yeah, kind of. Like, if you just cut the hair out, it just looks like David Cross. Yeah. Matthew Broderick is kind of like Chevy Chase in that they aged not proportional to how I felt like they would age. Like, when I when I think of Chevy Chase, because I grew up watching, like, obviously Chevy Chase movies and stuff. Um. Yeah, but he was in Community, so he was old in that. So right, that's... but this is like this is the Chevy Chase I think of when I think of Chevy Chase, right? Like just a just a middle aged like mostly like almost a young Chevy Chase. And then when I see him now, I'm just like, I don't understand the transition. Like I don't know how you got this old. <laughs> that's how it happens. I, I circle the neck. I'm like, how did you get this old? I don't understand it. Circle the jowls. I did. I circled the jowls. Which is, you know, it's what you got to do in these situations. You got to do a little jowl circling. Frank, show Mike my Instagram story. It's about to expire. I hope you get a kick out of it. All right, hold on. I don't do the Instagram. <laughs> Nathan Lane. Oh, yeah, there's Matthew Broderick and Nathan Lane. That's pretty hilarious. Wow, this is insane. Hmm. Oh my god, dude. How did you guys get... That's hilarious, man. Your mom's got that skin graft. Or uh, Fof's mama says that skin graft money. What does that even mean? That's, <laughs> it's, it's a joke. Um, Elk Tears, explain why Fof's mom has that skin graft money. Ah, oh, do I have an attack here? I don't know. What do I do? I don't know. I guess we'll do it. Why not? Chevy Chase does look like Dick Cheney now. Oh, wow, that's a really yeah, a little weird, bit. Yeah, that's a weird comparison that I'm way too uncomfortable with how accurate it is. I also get this weird feeling that if Chevy Chase like dyed his hair brown again, he might look very similar to the way he looked. But I don't know. It's just a weird like. So, okay, so here's the thing I'm that gets to me, like right? Again. See, like, this is what I think of when I see Chevy Chase, right? Or this. But the thing is, I don't know where the gap is between this and this. I don't know what like he looked between? like in between these two. Yeah, because he, like, well, that's because, like, until Community, he hadn't done anything in a while. Because there's nothing bridging that gap for my brain. So I'm just like, wait, how did you get there? It's like when you retire. When you retire, you're like still relatively young as far as things go. But then a couple years pass, and boy. Oh, Ooh. Matthew Ori opened this. Matthew Ori got sent one of these bad boys. That's pretty nice. I imagine that's a pretty penny. It's uh, picture pages. Time to get your crayons and your pencils. Watch Snow Day and Dirty Work. That's Chevy Chase aging. <laughs> well then. I don't think I've seen Snow Day. I think I've seen Dirty Work. I've seen neither. Time to get your mics and your mic face. Nope, that's not a black. I sometimes uh just random things come out of my mouth, so I can't be held responsible for those things. Yeah, I did hear it was he was kind of a jerk on set. I heard about that too. 
Frank got around going on a date. Hey, buddy. Um, don't don't show your date any movies or shows that are insensitive to their ethnicity. That's my advice to you for tonight. But otherwise, kill it. Okay. That's pretty good advice. Yeah, I figured it was uh pretty decent, decent plus, if you will. I don't think we're winning this game. I thought our deck was very, very good, but now here we are. Okay, well, that was all right, I guess. This is where they give their team plus two, plus two. And they attack for nine, put us to six, and then they gain nine, and then uh, it's, it's all downhill from there. Nope, just a little shit beetle. <laughs> all right, so... I wish I, I... I want a way to get rid of this, but I don't know if it's going to happen. The Aussie showed it to... Oh, wait, what? Hmm. Really? Is that how that happened? I thought you said... I thought I thought it was you. You're never going to find it. It was after this, right? <coughs> Oh, I just had to watch the first time I was a little dumbfounded. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, okay, no. All right, hold on. I'm looking for where the where the elk tears. On a date with an Australian, we watched it as a joke and she ended up being incredibly embarrassed. Okay, but okay, so didn't have neither of you seen it? Because if she was embarrassed, if she was embarrassed, it made it seem like it was your idea, not hers. You know what I mean? Oh, we drew a, we drew a, we drew an answer for this guy. That was nice. As a European, I'm curious, did you vote? Yes, I did. I voted a week and a half ago for early voting. <laughs> oh, man. That's good stuff. All right. We're having a good time. I'll give that one a like. Made a good amount during Uber. It rained Sunday, so I couldn't work. Ended up at the casino. Won a poker tournament, then won more at the cash game. Lost about two fifty at the craps table. Where I tried to press my luck, selling my ice cream back to ice cream company tomorrow. So came in with lots of money at once. Paid for all the parts of a PC. I accidentally bought the wrong kind of RAM DDR3 instead of four. So that's ah uh, yeah, but you can probably return that. Otherwise, good work, Matthew. Right? Good work. I'm going to play a poker game tonight. He is. He's going to go lose at a poker game tonight. You don't know I'm going to lose, Mitch. No, I do. I'll tell you what, I've won a couple games, boy. Mike's never won a thing in his life. I won a skin on League of Legends one. Do you remember that, that lottery you won that one time, actually? It was the Shipbird lottery, I think? I won $10, thank you very much. <laughs> I won 10 schnickels. I may have money back. That's pretty good. I'll gain three more and trade with these two if they want. That's okay with me, Mike. Sure. Yeah, there's nothing like the feeling of a new computer. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Well, I wish I didn't keep this on top now. Nope. Trash can. You're just going to draw me to something else. So I'll put you in the trash can. Must be must be nice. Uh, we're pretty, pretty sure we just lost this. So that's pretty sad. Mike won the lottery to have a dad like you. I'm not wow. Mike's father. In fact... I would never be this weirdo's dad. Wow. I can't be Mike's dad because I don't smoke, so I would never have any reason to go to the to go to the cigarette store. <laughs> he called it a cigarette store. Oh, that's good. Should I go buy a cigar for my poker game to make it authentic? Uh, only if you get an actual Cuban cigar. They sell those near where I'm going. Near where I'm going. I think we just died here, so that's pretty cool. I had a good time in this draft, and, uh... Yeah, the games were really close and interactive. Wait, no, they weren't. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay, I thought we were talking about something else. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, that first game I got stuck on mana, couldn't actually do anything, and, uh, this game I drew a lot of lands, and, uh, 
first round, uh, yeah, good times. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Thumbs like and subscribe button. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, YouTube, the internet, uh, your favorite gambling sites, the 7 Eleven, your local convenience stores, gas station, Mike's dad. <laughs> Slam those like and subscribe buttons.